Okay, so good evening once again. So for the sake of question two and question three, in fact, for the sake of exercise two, I'm just going to talk a little bit about ratio theorem, right? So that at least you have a fair idea of what I was trying to do and what I'm about to do. Okay, now the ratio theorem is saying that if A and B are two given distant points, it means there are two points. Yeah, there are two distant points. Distant means they are apart, right? Okay, and let's see be a point on the line AB such that the ratio of AC is to CB is equal to what? Mean is lambda. Then, if this thing, if the conditions above hold, then the point C or the position vector C is given as what? That expression over there, which is what? Lambda A plus mu B over lambda plus mu, right? So, what does this actually mean? Now, this means I suppose we have a line, right? This is the line. Or two, we have two points. Let me say two points. They form a line AB, right? Now suppose we have a particular point C on the line AB. Does this this C divides the line A and B into some ratios that we don't know? Then we can say that the length of AC, the ratio of the length AC to the ratio of the length CB, right, is actually given by the ratios. Mu is to what is to lambda, or yeah, mu is to what is to lambda. What this is trying to tell you that the length AC is what is mu, and the length CB is let's say lambda. That's what this is trying to tell you. And so the ratio is just what mu is what is to lambda. Now by the points of ratio proportion, I can rewrite this as what CB equal what mu over what over lambda, right? This is how I can I can rewrite this as that, right? Okay. So based on this, this is the same as um AC equal mu C B, right? Now remember this thing here I was a magnitude, right? Now because I can write lambda magnitude AC to be mu magnitude C B, it means AC and CB are actually moving what, in the same direction. In other words, AC is just what, a scalar multiple of what, of CB. Remember, par, par, um, two lines are parallel when what, you can write one vector as what, a scalar multiple of the other. So this means that my AC here, lambda AC is just equal to what, mean what, CB, right? Based on the fact that a, the AC and CB are, what, are parallel lines or they are parallel vectors. So if I'm using position vectors, position vectors where O A is A, O B is B, and O C is C. It means that my A C vector A C is just what O C minus what O A, which is what C minus A, and my C B is just B minus what A. So if I put this over here, I just have lambda equal um, C minus A equal mu B minus C. Now I want to find C. I want we want to know. Um, what c is so we are just going to make c the study so if you do your expansion properly right you should get lambda c plus mu c equal lambda a plus mu b so if i factorize c i'll get out lambda a plus mu b all about lambda plus mu this is what the ratio theorem is saying this is what the ratio theorem is saying right so this is the idea that we were trying to use so it tells us that if c divides the line a b that means the position vector c can be written out as this where lambda and mu are they are just numbers they are just they are just lines or the magnitude of a particular line do you understand right so that's what we are trying to use we are going to use this this same idea to solve question two and question three in fact all of most of the exercise two probably not most not all of them but will be based on the idea of what ratio theory so take note